Hi everyone and welcome to Health and Beauty YouTube channel. In this video, we're talking about natural ways to prevent and treat enlarged prostates. I want to first quickly talk about why prostates enlarge. As men get older, it seems to be due to hormonal imbalances. It's believed to be due to imbalances in testosterone and the more powerful testosterone known as dihydrotestosterone or DHT. So the exact mechanism again is not known. It could actually be increased estrogen levels as well. That is what we know so far. In this article, entitled The Use of 5 Alpha Reductus Inhibitors in the Treatment of Benign Prostatic Hyperplasia, points that an enlarged prostate is due to elevated levels of dihydrotestosterone and the enzyme that produces dihydrotestosterone. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about some of the dietary supplements that we can use to prevent and treat an enlarged prostate. The first one is pumpkin seed oil. Pumpkin seed oil is also known as Kirkabita pipo, and findings from this article entitled Effects of Pumpkin Seed Oil and Saw Palmetto Oil in Korean Men with Symptomatic Benign Prostatic Hyperplasia shows that pumpkin seed oil improves symptoms of an enlarged prostate. Pumpkin seed oil is known to inhibit 5-alpha reductase, which is the enzyme that converts testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. From the same article, saw palmetto is also known to help with symptoms of an enlarged prostate and possibly to treat and prevent an enlarged prostate. So saw palmetto is also known to inhibit 5-alpha reductors 1 and 2, and it's also known to inhibit the binding of testosterone to androgen receptors. So it has multiple effects, and it has very, very good evidence to suggest that saw palmetto can be used to prevent and treat and enlarge prostate. So these supplements are very good in treating enlarged prostates. Another herbal remedy that can be used is stinging nettle. The findings from this article, entitled The Efficacy of Stinging Nettle in Patients with Benign Prostatic Hyperplasia, a randomized double-blind study in 100 patients, it was found that stinging nettle improves benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH symptoms, and it also contains antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. This can also be used to improve and treat BPH. Another dietary compound that can be used to prevent and treat an enlarged prostate is lycopene. So the following comes from this article entitled Nutrition and Benign Prostatic Hyperplasia. This review article has a lot of great information. Lycopene is a pigment found in red fruits and vegetables so we can find lycopene in foods like tomatoes, papaya, and others. Tomatoes do seem to be the richest in lycopene. Tomatoes are a good source of lycopene and can be eaten to possibly prevent and treat symptoms of an enlarged prostate. And what has been found in some studies is that lycopene consumption may reduce risk of the progression of benign prostatic hyperplasia. Another dietary supplement that can be used is zinc. And the following comes from this article entitled Comparative Study of Serum and Zinc Concentrations in Benign and Malignant Prostate Disease, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. The prostate contains high levels of zinc. There's an association between having an enlarged prostate and decreased zinc levels in the prostate itself. It is also known that zinc inhibits 5-alpha reductase and also inhibits prolactin as well. Tea consumption has also been found to be beneficial within large prostates as well, and again comes from that review article entitled Nutrition and Benign Prostatic Hyperplasia. Particularly green tea and hibiscus tea are good for prostate. These may reduce the risk of benign prostatic hyperplasia, a benign enlarged prostate, and may reduce the risk of prostate cancer itself, and it also has beneficial effects on an enlarged prostate and associated symptoms. Another one is Babasu, and the following comes from the article entitled Nanostructured Systems 
containing babassu oil as a potential alternative therapy for benign prostatic hyperplasia. This is also known as Orbignia speciosus, and it's helpful in treatment of BPH and prostate malignancy, as was found in that article. So this is also an interesting natural remedy or natural supplement that can be used as well. We can also see that Sir Nilton can be used as well to prevent or treat an enlarged prostate, and from the article entitled Therapeutic Efficacy of Sir Nilton in Benign Prostatic Hyperplasias, Patients with Histological Prostatitis After Transurethral Resection of the Prostate. So Sir Nilton is rye pollen extract, so it can be bought as its own supplement. It improves BPH symptoms like nocturia, which is nighttime urination, and it also improves and treats prostatitis. Prostatitis is an inflammation of the prostate, and it's been shown to improve and treat prostatitis that has occurred after a TERP procedure. TERP is transurethral resection of the prostate, that is the surgery that is used for an enlarged prostate. The next two come from the same review article we talked about before, and one of them is vitamin D. So vitamin D supplementation is actually associated with a reduced risk of an enlarged prostate, and it seems that the mechanism is related to the fact that there are vitamin D binding receptors in prostate in bladder. Increasing vitamin D supply seems to actually reduce the risk of BPH. Another one is beta-cytosterol, and this is a plant phytosterol. It is very similar to cholesterol in its structure, and beta-cytosterol can actually be found in a variety of sources, including saw palmetto and stinging nettle, the ones we talked about before. And it can also be found in other dietary sources, like peanuts, in corn oils, and it's been found to actually lead to improved urine flow. So it improves lower urinary tract symptoms associated with an enlarged prostate. So those are some of the natural dietary supplements that have been shown to have beneficial outcomes on an enlarged prostate and even preventing the prostate from becoming enlarged in the first place. Also, check out my video on beverages and foods to avoid in order to prevent an enlarged prostate. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.